morning everyone morning. thank you so much today also we're here to do a video lecture okay uh, let me read the uh, video chapter 10 6 for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and the fiery indignation which will devour the adverse service. Uh, as we see this uh, scripture, uh, if we sin willfully, willfully, like we do sin uh, according to we want, continue to sin. But uh, we need to know exactly uh, the meaning of here, sin willfully. Sin willfully. If we just see uh, without uh, the sentence, as here say after, after we have. If we just see if we sin willfully, maybe we can interpret like the sin which we do continue like uh, like uh, without any you know uh, break or stop just uh, as they want but this not this mean here we see if we sin willfully uh, we need to know exactly the uh, whole sentence of this verse we see let uh, we see again after we have received the knowledge of the then let's thinking about what is the knowledge of the truth the truth no as we share through hebrew continue we hear uh, through high priest Jesus Christ. Okay? Uh, he died on the cross and his blood sprinkled in the heaven tabernacle. And the heaven, you know, the place is totally different where we are now. Heaven. Heaven is eternal place. And here we have time. So long time before Israel they kill lamb for their sin for one. If they commit this sin again, they bring another lamb. So the Bible say the time there was a lot of blood flowed from the but Jesus Christ he is totally different uh, like animal he died for eternal redemption and he shed his own blood so that through his blood all nations sin actually was she once for all. So this is the knowledge of the truth. So it means already all our sin are washed. So after we received the knowledge of the truth, means after we discover all of our sin are washed, isn't it? Then, huh? if we sin willfully, 
So what is it mean here? If we sin willfully means even though all of our sin are worship, the people who still say we are sinner, huh? you understand? They are the one who uh, do sin willfully, willfully. Because all our sin are worship, but still those who say like all of our sin worship, but still remain some sin. Like many people misunderstand about it. Like Jesus Christ died for our sin, the past sin. And the sin which we do, we must worship through asking for. But the sin which even Jesus couldn't wash, then how human can wash the sin which Jesus couldn't wash? No, the blood of Jesus. Uh, couldn't wash the sin, then which blood can wash our sin? Is there better blood of Jesus than, uh, is there better blood and the blood of Jesus? No. There is no other better blood than Jesus. So, it is nonsense. The people who think the sin which we do, we need to wash. It means the blood of Jesus Christ couldn't wash the sin clearly. So actually, if Jesus couldn't wash, then which blood can wash? Which blood? Is it by lamb blood or cow blood? No. Even cow and lamb, Long time before Israel, they repeat, they kill again, but they couldn't wash it. They did. So Jesus Christ, He came and He washed His own blood and He shed His blood and washed all of our sin. So Jesus Christ, His blood made all the people clean and uh, like uh, com completely finish. But here we see, for if we sin willfully after, we need to know exactly here, after. After we have received the knowledge of the truth. So what is a sin willfully? It means even though we receive the knowledge of the truth. Like Jesus Christ, He already washed our sin uh, forever. But even though we know it, if we continue to say we are sinner, we are evil, we are dirty, it is like sin willfully. You understand? Yes. So, if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. There is no, you know, remain a sacrifice. Like the people who continue to say, we are sinner, we are dirty. No, those people, you know, there is no more sacrifice. You understand? Why? Jesus Christ, He already died and washed all. But if there is someone who continues to say we are sinners, then which sacrifice can remain before them? No other sacrifice, isn't it? So only those people remain uh, for them. Verse 27. We see. But a certain a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. So we see here, only those people 
you know, receive fearful expectation of judgment and the fiery you know, indignation. Like before them, you know, hellfire and uh, heavy judgment remain. Why they receive those kind of treatment? Because they do sin willfully no? after they receive knowledge of so it. means already, you know, through the Bible, you know, no? proclaim to people that all of our sins are worship. So in the Bible, there are so many parts we can see our sin worship clearly through Christ. Even in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 22. In Isaiah chapter 44, says, I have brought out like a deep cloud your transgressions and like a cloud your sins return to me. For I have redeemed you. So, as here we see, God say to us, Return to me. You know, the person who are sinner cannot go to because sinner, you know, there is a, like a war in between God and uh, him himself because of sin. But how people can return to God? You know, as you hear say, you know, all transgression and all sin, you know, was she and blood out. It was like thick cloud, but blood out. And it was uh, like cloud, but uh, as you hear say, removal complete. So that we can return. So this scripture also say us very clearly, you know, God say, I have brought out like a deep cloud your transgression and like a cloud your sins return to me for I have redeemed you. So there are many scriptures in the Bible repeat and say to us, like all of our sin was she clear through Jesus Christ. But those who uh, ignore what Jesus done, you know, they remain the fiery, uh, you know, place and like you know, a heavy judgment. Like you see this picture. I cannot explain, you know, the hellfire. But those people, you know, those people who ignore the work of Jesus, if we sin willfully, after, after we receive the knowledge of the truth, after we receive the Jesus Christ, but if we continue to say, sinner, we are evil, dirty, then, it is like uh, those people, you know, they go hellfire. As uh, we see the scripture, we see the scripture again. After, oh, sorry, or oh, if we sin willfully, after we receive, we have received the knowledge of, it, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. There is no other sacrifice because Jesus already washed all our sin. But those who continue to say we are sinner, sinner, no, I don't know why they continue to say sinner. But anyway, those who say we are sinner, because you know Jesus already washed our sin, they you know, not receive another sacrifice. Because Jesus was last and 
no first and last sacrifice. So only those people remain as here scripture say verse 27 for the certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. So those people receive uh, those kind of uh, treatment and they will go to uh, hellfire. So who go hellfire? It's not the one who committed sin. If everyone go hellfire, the one who committed sin, then all the people must go hellfire. As uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, all uh, sinned, isn't it? So, short uh, of glory of the God. So, all sin. So, if everyone go hellfire because of uh, committed sin, then all should go hellfire. But who go hellfire? The one who ignore work of Jesus Christ. It is sin willfully, sin willfully. After we have received the knowledge of God. So after we receive Jesus Christ, after we you know, know the knowledge, Jesus wash our sin. But still, the people who say we are sinner, you know, they are the one who do sin willfully. Are you getting? Yes. So it is like, you know, we see no, those people they receive those kind of food. Then not only here in the Hebrews chapter 10, verse 28, anyone who has rejected Moses law dies without mercy on the testimony testimony of two or three witnesses. Verse 29, of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be uh, thought worthy who has trembled, trembled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing and insert the spirit of grace. So here scripture said the people who you know ignore the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, like on the foot, like tremble, tremble, tremble the Son of God on the foot. You now how much they will receive more punishment. Like Jesus Christ already he died on the cross. But if you know someone say we are sinner, you no, know, they are like the one who ignore work of Jesus Christ. Isn't it? Yes. Here we see counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified or common things, common things. Like oh Jesus died. Huh? Die. I'm a sinner. This is like they regarded common things. One day I visit a hospital. That hospital was like Christian hospital. So as you see, you know, Christian hospital, all doctor, all nurse, Christian. So we got the chance, you know, share the Bible like Bible meeting. So I ask them, are you Christian? All oh, they say, yes. You no, know, I already expect they answer Christian because it was Christian hospital. All oh, nurse, all oh, doctors, they were a Christian. So I ask them, can you go to kingdom of heaven? They all say, yes. Why? They say I'm Christian, isn't it? So if you die, can you go to 
kingdom of heaven? They always say, yes, we can go. Then I ask, do you think sinner can go hellfire and kingdom of heaven? Then all say, no, sinner cannot go kingdom of heaven. Then I ask to them, are you sinner or holy? Then all they say, I am sinner. I am sinner. Then I ask again, can you go heaven? Yes, I can go heaven. So it is uh, like contradiction. You know, they think they can go kingdom of heaven. Why? Christian. Christian. But they say, sinner cannot go heaven. Isn't it? Yes, sinner cannot go heaven. But actually, who is a true sinner? You know, in the world, you know, only sinner is the one who uh, ignores uh, what Jesus done. Jesus already washed our sin. So who is a sinner actually? Sinner, they are the one who, you know, ignore what Jesus done. Jesus washed all of our sin. So this sinner cannot go kingdom of heaven. But when I ask them, do you have a sin? All oh, they say, yes, I have sin. No, this is like a as I told you, uh, sin uh, willfully. willfully. Sin willfully. So, as here scripture says, if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the... You know, after we uh, knew Jesus died on the cross and He hung on the cross, everyone knows Jesus, isn't it? Everyone. Everyone know. Even I ask, uh, you know, children, do you know Jesus? All oh, they say, yes, I know. And do you know what Jesus done for you? And he say, yes. Huh? Die on the cross. Wash out. Then are you sinner? Then most of the children say, yes, I am sinner. You know, it's like knowledge of the truth spread all over. Huh? Jesus Christ spread all over. But if we don't know what Jesus done for us, it's like sin willfully. This is the mean of sin willfully. So, if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. As you hear say, yes, there is no more other sin. That's why, you know, verse 27 say, But a certain fearful expectation of a judgment. There is no sacrifice, but there is fearful expectation of judgment and fiery uh, indignation which will devour the adversaries. So those people uh, will go to uh, hellfire. So who go hellfire exactly is not actually a sinner. It's actually the one who say uh, I'm a sinner though Jesus was out. So who go kingdom of heaven? Do you think the people go kingdom of heaven, the one who never committed sin? No. If never committed sin, then no one can go kingdom of heaven. Who go kingdom of heaven? The one who accept the knowledge of the truth. The truth is Jesus died on the cross and he shed his blood you know, in heaven tabernacle. So, wash our sin, eat. So, this is the knowledge of the So, we can see, you know, what is the real means. Sin willfully. Sin willfully. So, uh, when we see the Hebrew chapter, we can see exactly, you know, this Hebrew author want to guide everyone 
discover welcome so that this main topic of Hebrew I told you consider Jesus Christ isn't it yes so in the Bible all the book 66 books actually explain Jesus Christ so, but most of you know important books for the Jesus Christ is at Hebrew. So when we uh, you know, see the Hebrew, we can see the work of Jesus Christ and we can consider Jesus Christ uh, deeply. So uh, we see here uh, what is mean of uh, uh, sin willfully. Willfully means you know after we uh, receive the knowledge of the truth. Uh, continue to say we are sinner like this and that is uh, the, the one who do sin with you. so we share uh, this uh, scripture okay. we stop